What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording. I'll get right into it because there's just absolutely so much news going on this week. Uh, outside of everything going on with big conservative media outlets and infighting and this, that, and the other thing, there's also a battle going on between the last few games journalists, most of them failed cam girls and uh, degenerate politically obsessed losers who hate gamers and have always hated gamers and just wish they would, could they could be writing about politics. And uh, there's also the CEO of a game development company, former Blizzard developer, from what I understand, of Unleashed Games, who uh, did a big oopsie, who um, clearly thought that they lived in a bubble, that clearly thought they still lived in you know old Twitter, where they put out as a brag, as a humble brag, that their video game would purposely exclude white males from their game. And hey, I'm fine with that. Cool, 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 cool. Good idea. Good, 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 good. Cool idea. I think you should do that. Um, because we'll find out. You know, we're always being told representation matters. So I guess I don't have to buy this game. You don't have any white males in your video game. I'm not buying it. Hopefully all the um, androgynous tree people and um, gender non-conforming uh, tri-binaries, uh, they will support your game. You know, I'm sure, I hope it has a really small budget, um, but you see former Blizzard developer breaking her new game features no white male characters. Hey, that's totally fine since representation matters. I'm told, I guess I don't see myself in the game, so I won't be buying it. You'll see this tweet that has, that I put out, there's nearly 10,000 likes, of course. And then once this tweet made it out of their special little circle, not only have they deleted the tweet, but they have put their entire company on lockdown. Someone said, well, thanks for convincing me of not buying your game, to which they thought this would be known. Cool, you won't have to because it's free to play. Ah, so it's based on predatory microtransactions. Got it. You'll just have to wait to see. I know the anticipation is killing me too. No one anticipates anticipates a free-to-play game. Very true. I wonder if she understands that she just admitted they excluded the biggest market customer base in games. From a business point of view, that's extremely questionable. Well, for me, I do not believe that representation in video games matters nearly as much as whether or not the game is good. Miles Morales' Spider-Man sold pretty well. Laura Croft's Tomb Raider did sold pretty well. God of War sold pretty well. Um, all the a lot of Last of Us 2 sold 20 million copies. Okay. So I mean, it's and by the way, that wasn't even a good game, but you know, the perception that a game is good seems to sell. And she also wrote, We don't build a world for ourselves by ourselves. We Build a world for all of us together. Oops. What do you mean all of us except for white males, right? So once this tweet gets out, of course, CEO of Unleash Games, game dev for 25 years at Blizzard, 38 Studios, Warner Brothers, and Scopely, former U.S. Air Force, disruptive game dev founder, and a bunny of chaos. I mean... To me, obviously, I think this is pretty hilarious. You see Mark Kern writing, uh, Haven Game Maker is besties with Kotaku's Alyssa Mercanti. This is the, the same CEO, right? Also, if your personality, if you personally know any decently popular gaming personality streamers who see meteoric rise in popularity shortly after adopting more reactionary views, DM me. And then, of course, here you see the CEO, former Blizzard, uh, loser replying, let's see how this storm pans out. Talking about female, female biology is apparently an extreme position. You see, they write two women sharing intimate stories about our getting our periods in the GDC 24 merch store is the state of the games industry. Somebody said, this is parody, right? Nope. Fully serious. It's nice to have other women in this industry. We have to be vulnerable and real with them in a way that they don't get a majority of devs. The, this GDC Game Developers Conference was the most female-powered of any of my past GDC, and I'm 100% here for it. I, the, I don't know if this is a woman or not, but they have a female 
you know, I, Avatar, shouldn't, I don't even know what a female is anymore, right? Shouldn't the GDC be talking about, I don't know, gaming instead of periods and screaming at the sky? Because, of course, that was also there, of course. And then unleashing games, making games together, the company itself has now locked down their Twitter. They have locked down their Twitter. Check out a merch store and buy an Unleashed t-shirt. I suspect they're going to be on clearance very soon. Whoa, how come there are so many white males at this company? Oh, Unleashed Games, so white. Irina, you see, is the CEO and creative director. And then she hired, what? Not one, but two white people? The chief operating officer and the chief design officer, white males? So a team of three whites, uh, one with moobs, uh, is uh, going to break down. Going to break down. Oh, yeah. And look at this art style. So unique. Not like every single crappy game that does, you know, with animation that doesn't look exactly like this. Elements of the dragon. Respect, community, agility. Now, of course... You look at their YouTube page. No. Nope. Let's see how this is going. Let's see how this is going. Let's see if there's any comments on this. I'm just curious. Oops. Racist developers. I'm out. Racist devs. Nope. Now nah, these games don't bring people together. They, they divide. Gamers put your money where you're dead. This person just destroyed, destroyed their company. Destroyed it. Now, most game devs who secretly hate white males generally don't put it right out there immediately for the entire world to see. But this one decided, hey, it's a marketing technique. And you know what? In their defense, it actually was. It actually was a marketing technique about eight years ago. You used to be able to virtue signal in this manner. You used to be able to you know, dump on white people and particularly white males. and it worked. You got a ton of retweets and likes from industry insiders, but all those people now are unemployed and back doing cam work. You know, Kotaku used to have power. IGN used to have power. Polygon used to have power. When's the last time you heard them breaking any news? When's the last time you heard them in a positive light? These people can't sell video games. IGN is a joke. You can't spell ignorant without IGN. Kotaku is on its last leg. Their own staff openly, uh, you know, recoiling against leadership after massive layoffs and their editor in chief quit. Seems like you guys bit off more than you can chew with your CEO's comments. Hard pass. Woke detected. Irina just doomed all the hard work of anybody on their team. Game seems racist. No thanks. Let's put this simple. Your company's DOA unless your shareholders fire the CEO. I was very interested this, in this game until I heard of it. Welcome to internet fame. Add to the ignore list. I mean, everybody is flooding. This is great. By the way, I 100% support people using their freedom of speech to let companies be, you know, no, okay, you know, be kind or, you know, don't cross the line, all right? You're welcome to leave all the internet comments you want as long as they are, you know, reasonable, okay? You're welcome to leave reviews on their games. This company doomed their game before it ever could come out. And you see, this is a game. It's free to play, full of micro microaggressions. I mean, microtransactions. The game was called Haven. You know what other game had no white men? Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Great game. She was posting about how pleased she was causing outrage because her following count kept going up earlier. That changed quickly. I gathered it was a marketing ploy and refrained from tweeting about it until she deleted it. The backfire was in full force by then. Anyone else notice, anyone else notice her studio is all male and white? Yes, I noticed that. These got deleted too, by the way, about you know the, the period stuff. I mean, this is absolutely great. Of course, spotted at Game Developers Conference, and white cisgender able-bodied man as default. 
By the way, again, if the game is good, nobody cares. Nobody cares. But when you're Kotaku, this is not a new message. This is, goes back all the way to 2012. Straight white men, the lowest difficulty setting there is. Okay, I mean, this is, you look at this article here from That Park Place. Unleashed Games founder and CEO Irina of Don't Care brags about excluding white male characters from alpha build of upcoming game Haven. It's doomed. Doomed. It's ne- Nobody's going to play this except for a few um, people who identify as dear people on Twitch. And it's going to fade into obscurity and this will, game will fail. And all the people that work at this company will lose their job because they thought, hey, this would be cool. Let's own the chuds. Representation matters. Inclusivity is not the same as racism. Enjoy hating on me for today. I'll go back to making games. Like, that's hard to do. Making good games is hard. Making games is not hard. Especially now with AI and with all the tools that people have. Making good games is just as hard as it's always been. Of course. I would never say it's easy to make a good game. Of course, somebody replied to this. Imagine if you wrote blackmails. How would that look? Equality is not equity. Considering that 95% of video game characters are white and male, a poor representation of the diversity of actual players, I thought it would be a fun experiment. We started with all female characters. Of course, people say don't touch their games. Their CEO legit just posted that they don't want to include white people in their characters. This is why what happens when you hire a diversity CEO, don't buy games from people who don't respect you. Alpha build, demo characters, pre-release, but details don't matter. Only outrage. Well, you're the one that farmed it, lady. You asked for it. You begged for it. You wanted this press for your game. Well, now you got it. Nobody would have cared if your game was all female characters to start until you told everyone that that was a deliberate decision because you don't like white men, even though they run your company. And I'm sure somebody inside that company told her, please... Please, shut up. She doomed the entire company with a single tweet, and I absolutely love it. Keep it up, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe or follow down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.